All right. Um, so uh, instead of just considering the check complex, which of course, if you recall, requires you to check whether or not uh, the um, common intersection of a whole bunch of balls, right, is non-trivial. Um, I'm going to introduce um, a slightly easier to compute uh, complex called the Vettorus Rips complex. And then uh, I will say something about how uh, those two things are related to each other. So instead of checking for um, sort of common intersections, right, uh, we can consider complexes consisting of subcollections You only require that all uh, pairwise uh, intersections between elements of that um, set are uh, non-trivial. Okay, uh, and of course, this is a much easier condition to check. Right, so this is a much easier condition to check. And uh, leads to what is called the Viatoris Rips complex. Uh, S and R. Okay, and this uh, consists of all subsets of points of diameter um, uh, at most 2R. Okay. So, uh, so let me just be more explicit here. So this is the Viatoris Rips complex uh, for radius r, right? This is the set of uh, collections of points. Okay. So with the property that the diameter of that collection of points is less than or equal to two r. Okay. And obviously, if the diameter of this thing is less than or equal to two r, it's like uh, then it will tell you that um, you know it's like every single pairwise interaction, uh, sorry, every single pairwise intersection of balls of radius r, it's like centered at those points will um, will always be non-trivial. Okay, so some obvious obs uh, immediate observations, right, which is that this condition is obviously the condition for uh, there being an edge in the check complex. So, uh, so clearly, the edges in uh, the Viatoris Rips complex are the same as the check complex. Um, and then more generally speaking, um, it's actually, check complex is actually contained in the Vataris Rips complex. So, um, so the check complex of radius R, right, is contained in the Vataris Rips complex. Okay. Um, and of course, the reason why you have this inclusion is that a non-trivial 
common intersection right, implies non-trivial pairwise uh, intersections, right? Because if you recall, the condition that something is in the check complex, right, is that imagine if you had three sets. Uh, for this uh, set, for A, B, C to be in the check complex of radius R implies that, uh, you know, it's like, the, well, I mean, the balls of radius R centered at points A, B, and C, right, have a non-trivial intersection here. Okay, um, but if that is true, then clearly the pairwise intersections of balls of radius R centered at A and B, or A and C, or B and C, uh, will also be non-trivial. Okay, and, and of course that uh, sort of easier to satisfy condition is the condition for it, uh, for that um, abstract simplex, if you will, to be in the Vatars rips complex. So in any case, what that tells you then is that anything in the check complex of radius R is going to be in the Vatars rips complex of radius r as well. Okay, um, so now the question is, is it possible then to um, have the Vatars rips complex be contained in some other check complex, uh, perhaps of a larger radius? Okay, so, so that's basically uh, um, uh, what is called the Vatars rips lemma, and uh, I'll state it, it's like, but I, I won't prove it. Okay, so let me just uh, state this. Vertars rips lemma says uh, something like the Vertars rips complex is contained in some other check complex. Okay, so let uh, S be a finite set of points. In some Euclidean space, the dimension doesn't matter. Okay. And then we need our R to be greater than or equal to zero. Okay, then the claim is that uh, the Vertars rips of R is contained in the check complex of uh, radius square root 2 times r. So this is a constant multiple, obviously, of the r, but it's independent of the uh, radius. Okay, and then the proof I'm not going to uh, sort of discuss, but um, you can look at the textbook if you're interested in this. So more or less, it's, it's really sort of a geometric argument which says that uh, if you again let the radius be large enough, uh, then anything it's like which is um, doing pairwise intersections, right? It's going to give you um, sort of you know it's like common non-trivial intersections um, for balls which are of slightly larger radius. Okay, um, so let me just stop here for a minute.